I was finishing up being a veterinary student Mm -hmm. um, and I I had a friend that was in the industry in Australia. She had shot internationally and she said, you should think about doing this. And at the time I was very nervous, like for uh, for obvious reasons, you know, Mm -hmm. like it's a very permanent decision and I was graduating to be a doctor and I didn't know how that would affect my ability to be a doctor if people found out. So I went away for a year and kind of sat with it as a Mm -hmm. decision and did some research and obviously I came out thinking, oh, well, (laughs) fuck it. (laughs) Other people's opinions are other people's opinions and I'm glad that I made that decision but it was a big deal for me at the time, especially because when I was growing up, I, you know, I hear a lot of porn performers talk often in podcasts about how they were extremely sexual prior to entering porn and it was their way of exploration and for me it couldn't have been further from the truth. Hmm. I was very socially awkward. I couldn't talk to strangers and boys and like even older men that were just like you know friends of the family and stuff. I struggled with all of that until probably at least 24 and so for me it was a big learning curve just to navigate being a social person let alone being sexual with people and exploring that. Yeah. So I had almost like the opposite. So that's so interesting because I know that a lot of people's first question is going to be, well, if you were on track to be, you know, a veterinarian, which is a very difficult and, you know, supposedly well-paying job, why would you throw that all away to be in the adult industry, especially if you weren't like a naturally sexual person? Well, for me, it was a method of expression that I hadn't had the opportunity to have yet. When I started doing porn, I realized, oh, my God, there's so much that I can do. This, like These sensations are incredible. I'm meeting cool people. Um, so that was really important to me. Also, I never threw my veterinary career away. I was working as an emergency vet up until I left to come here. And the only reason why I'm not still doing it here is because my visa allows me to only be a performer. Otherwise, I would be doing it. Um, I'm actually sitting the exams for America this year or next year. I'm doing all the prep at the moment. So the ultimate goal is if I, if America allows me to down the track, I will still do both, but probably just through a volunteer aspect more so than anything else. Um, and I, I just... I mean, I've always been a really creative person. I always was the artsy girl at school um, and I find a lot of creative outlet in producing just as much as performing. So I started pretty hell for leather. I I, uh, worked as a performer for a small company and it was not so small of a company, Girls Out West in Australia, which is arguably the only... um, established company in Australia and then I worked over in Europe couldn't get to America and I was like okay I want to shoot more how am I going to shoot more fuck it I'm going to open my own company so Mm. then I started my own company um, hired staff and we worked for three years like that with me working as a veterinarian 30 hours a week night shift and then running my production company and shooting on the days off as well wow it was a lot I don't recommend (laughs) yeah I mean how did you like so did you find that there was any conflict between your veterinary job and your adult performing job not just like the hours but like socially did you experience any stigma so I was outed to my first job kind of inadvertently by myself I was discriminated against by a bank and an article got written about it in the Daily Mail that went viral and I had five different work colleagues see the article and come to me and saying hey but people are talking about this you might want to tell the bosses so I had to sit down with my bosses and have that awkward conversation and um, my blessing is one I had incredible bosses I, I never had to worry with either of the clinics that I worked in whether I would still have a job because of it um, but The veterinary industry has to take care of its vets quite heavily and I think that was also my blessing. Vet vet industries don't have the luxury of discriminating against their vets because there's hardly any of them as it is. Hmm. Our suicide rates are six times the national average. Wait, what? Yeah, uh, 50% of vets will leave within five years of graduating because it's just so demanding. The hours, people screaming at you, having to deal with death and euthanasia constantly, Hmm. night shift, um, you know, I love I love emergency work, but I understand why people do it. You know, once a month we would get an email saying Veil, doctor, blah, blah, took their own life. So um, I think clinics would have been crazy to discriminate against me or, you know, 
introduce that stigma into my workplace as a vet because the way I look at it and the way they looked at it is as long as it's not affecting my clinic who cares right you know like what's the point the animals aren't going to object to you treating them (laughs) it doesn't change my brain it doesn't change what knowledge I have as far as how to fix an animal or how to save a life um it's completely separate and I never had anyone thank god (laughs) recognize me at the clinic or say anything Mm -hmm. so um I was very lucky that I got I was very privileged to live both lives at the same time Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.